With permission granted by the FAA, the NYPD becomes the first in the country with a green light to launch drones and respond faster to various situations. Cops can now pre-position drones in five precincts in New York City and then launch drones remotely from police headquarters in Lower Manhattan. Until now, it was a little more backwards than that. So how big a game changer is this? With an exclusive look, here's Eyewitness News reporter Josh Einiger. From a windowless room at one police plaza. I have a call stating that a male has a knife. Cops are racing to a call miles away, but all it takes is a few clicks of a mouse and they arrive above the scene in minutes. And we're looking for a male with a red shirt with a number 33 on the back. Only Eyewitness News got a glimpse at the newest frontier of policing, remotely piloted drones buzzing the sky, even before the first patrol car can arrive on a call. This just flies autonomously and it's being controlled from here. Yes, this is being controlled down in our Joint Operations Center. It's all the brainchild of Kaz Daughtry, the NYPD's Deputy Commissioner of Operations, who's built up a whole fleet of drones. But these are different, with a first-of-its-kind waiver from the FAA allowing cops to control the drones from one centralized spot. To be a model for the rest of the country, to be a model for the rest of the country is... It's pretty, it's pretty remarkable, Josh. This is the nerve center for all NYPD operations. It's located at police headquarters in Lower Manhattan. And just off this center is what they call the flight room, where licensed drone pilots who happen to be NYPD officers are right now flying drones remotely in five different precincts across three boroughs. And there's more to come. So today we are announcing that New York City is flying into the future to keep New Yorkers safe. Today at the Central Park Precinct, the mayor unveiled the program called Drone as a First Responder. Before, officers had to physically drive a UAV to a location and maintain sight of the drone at all times. But the new program allows them to launch from miles away, dramatically speeding up the response and giving officers on the ground important information before they even arrive. I got there before patrol did. Officer Craig Vitali is a licensed drone pilot who spent years on the street. I've been on the ground. I did crime. If this was, if we had this available, how much easier and safer it could have been. The cops can fly no higher than three or four hundred feet off the ground, and in the world's most congested airspace, it is complicated. Safety is paramount. Yeah. I always emphasize on safety. If the connection is lost, the drone is designed to return to base on station house rooftops for now in five precincts in Brooklyn and the Bronx, along with the one in Central Park. The FAA permit will last a year, and cops say they're keeping close track of their successes in this pilot program they hope will transform policing to new heights. In Lower Manhattan, Josh Einiger, Channel 7, Eyewitness News.